Oh shit, we didn't even have to break in. We're already here. That was a sweet ass cutscene. For once I had the keys to the place, which meant I wouldn't have to use my lockpicks or. How can it be locked from the inside? It doesn't look like anyone picked the lock. Yeah. So what are you gonna do, bro? We need to make our way over to that fireplace. Let's see what we got. Black fantasy. Oh, oh my goodness. Look at that. The guy sure had good taste. Hey, <laughs> what's up, Tig? I had a feeling you'd like that, bro. Uh, an art, no doubt. I say art for the senseless. People call anything art. I see more art in a boxer's hypnotizing footwork than in certain modern paintings. <laughs> Here we go, a little black fantasy on for us. Come on. Play that funky music. Look at that fucking eyebrow right there, huh? Life of Harry Bradwick, father of baseball. Okay. It's hard to believe that a pair of boxing fists could play something like this, although I'm sure he had the lungs for it. It looks like Gunn had already begun to move his things. The Quiet Lion. Okay, military Gun. man. Thorpe? Hmm. No idea. And these two, they look familiar. That's uh, the guy who was playing as the... The doctor. Fucking baseball cars, man. Stick that shit and let's roll, homie. Hmm. As I glanced at the telephone, I remembered the weekly password for O'Leary's illegal gambling operation. Even though I had rejected his reward for finding Yale, I had managed to make my own dirty money by ratting out the Eagle Pimp during our poker game. How much damage could a small bet do? What was that, Wild Berries? Yes. Wild strawberries. Welcome, sir. May I ask for the beneficiary of your bet? John H. Blackmore. I see. Who? Event? Stone versus Yale. Madison Square Garden. Got it. Amount? $5,000. Winner? Yale wins. Place of delivery? I'd seen several locations written out in O'Leary's basement, but I could only remember one, courtesy of my new matchbox, La Iguana Pool Room. All right, sir. Good afternoon. Well, well, well. Okay, how about another baseball card? Stick that shit. Hmm. Interesting. I think we've thoroughly investigated this one. Well, well, well. Okay. Wasn't Dunn's nickname the Quiet Lynx? I'd swear I saw that on a poster at the gym. Interesting. Interesting. 
Let's go check out the kitchen first. Nothing in the dining room. <laughs> this is ridiculous. There we go. Look at that, huh? Look at that, big boy. Ricky DeMarco, huh? Old 1930s. Sardines. Sardines. Yup. It's been open for a few hours. Interesting. Property? Of okay. course. Now I see how Dunn bought the apartment he was going to share with Mary. This place has to be empty in two weeks for the new owners. I wonder if Sonia knows about this. I don't think so. Dunn was gonna move in with Mary, huh? Oh, fuck. Don't act like I didn't see that fucking baseball card. Ready-made meals on airplane trays in front of the TV. Who would have thought we'd end up eating like this? Mm-hmm. Dunn died four days ago, and that lettuce still looks okay. So you think somebody's still living here, is what you're telling me. Cut the bullshit, bro. You know I want that card. Give me that shit. Give me that card, baby. We haven't collected this many just to let them go. Stick it. Uh. Hmm. We got two more rooms, huh? This place doesn't seem too bad. I mean, I've seen worse. Oh, we got a closet over here? What's that? Elaine. I think that was Dunn's wife's name, according to Jake. Hmm. Very Van Gogh inspired. Oh. Follow the clues? Ah, we'll get the clues wow. eventually. Could Dunn really afford such luxuries? Or did he only want to impress Mary? <laughs> My man's got that Black Panther cologne. 69% of the time, it works every time. There we go. Finished another one. Old Fabio Cascone. What a boxing 1902. Jeez. What else we got? Masculinity starts at work. Didn't we see that one femininity start starts at home? Interact with as many books as you can. I mean, I guess we got an achievement for that. Nothing else in here? Really? That's it? It's kind of cool that they got the mirror actually working now. Ooh, what is that? A broken window? Is this window? how he got in? It's exactly what it looks like. It's exactly what the fuck it looks like. Come on, Oscar. Get the fuck in that book and let's roll, baby. Mmm. Okay. Tig, you missing being on the water yet? Or do you have enough sun for a couple months? You still looked at her every morning? So many years later, with a new love, maybe we don't need to forget. Maybe pain just transforms into, I don't know, something. <laughs> ah, fuck that, bro. It's an X. Cut it out. What do we got? Uh, my dear Mary, I bring you to this rooftop, the place where, where love was born. Ooh, how romantic. Where the love I feel for you was born to give you this ring and dot, dot, dot. This is too private. Uh, for the world's best Father's Day. Oh, the world's best dad. Oh, she loved her dad when she was a kid. I don't know what happened though. Let me see. 
care. We're still going. Let's see. Oh, another fucking card. Grab that shit. Stop playing. Uh-huh. Give it to me. Give it to me. Put it on deck. And another card has been completed, ladies and gentlemen. Frederick Lef uh, Frederick Lafond. Oh, we got 1906, Montreal, Canada. There you go. Here you go. Let's go check these big ass doors. Honestly, I was another expecting empty something to come closet. Out. Huh? Why would you fucking put an empty closet there? Well, I guess they were trying to clean stuff out. Damn, there's another room over here too? Shit! There are a lot of rooms. I like how they did all the uh, the mirror work though. I'm not seeing anything in here. It's crazy they left the lights on now. Is that a cheetah? Hmm. Could this be the origin of Sonya's interest in business management? Maybe. Solid ass possibility. Hmm. Under your skin. One of the very few teen idols who only got better with age. Interesting. What's this doing here? I don't know. No matter how hard I look, I'm not getting anywhere. What the hell was the burglar looking for? And most importantly, did he find it? Uh-oh. They're forcing us to think, ladies and gentlemen. What do we got? Feet to establish dominance. Career. Planned murder, souls, empty can of sardines. Here we go. There's one. It's pretty clear that the burglar came by the house before heading to the gym. Sub chub chub, how's it going, bro? Didn't find what he was looking for in here. I need to talk with Sonia and maybe with her uncle Tim. Look at that hard stare off right there. It brings back, I don't know. Good memories? An optimist, are we? It's like remembering the last day of summer. Scenes full of joy, picturesque landscapes, and yet the light is faint and the air is still, the calm before the storm. Ooh. I know that feeling. I figured that much. I can see it in your eyes. We met in the army. <laughs> we were all professional athletes. They called us the Olympic Five. Hmm. Uh, it's barbecue day. You're just stopping by to say hello. Hello! I hope your day is as beautiful as you are, you incredible human being. I hope you and the fam have absolutely delicious treats all over the place, my dude. Appreciate you swinging by, man. What about you? I had just signed with the Milestones. I hadn't even played my first game, but people said I had a bright future ahead of me. And you did. The cop at the hospital sure seemed happy to be the proud owner of a Tim Ironarm Thorpe autograph. Who would have thought that I'd end up becoming Tim Iron Legs Thorpe? What happened? I fought the Nazis for two years. Fucking Nazis, sky, man! Over Europe. And I never set foot in a field hospital. Three years later, I crossed the street without looking. And look at me now. Oh, no. Always look twice before you cross the road. Was Dunn already boxing? Yes, he was. I had already seen him fight before I even met him. He was as humble in the ring as he was in life. There He'd always go. let his rivals take the initiative. I remember how he barely dodged the blows. If you didn't look at his feet, it seemed like he wasn't even moving. And the footwork, pure dancing. 
You could almost hear the music. The song would play until his opponent was exhausted. Then came the drum roll, followed by Dunn's victory by KO. Very cool. Very cool. Who's the guy on the right? Angus Mitchell, our combat medic and a doctor with the New York Warriors. It was Spanow who got him assigned to our platoon. Mm. That's the uh, doctor who was faking it for uh, for Bobby in the hospital. Hey, isn't that Craig Spano? The guy on the Morley's billboards? Yes, indeed. Our captain. He was the oldest, after all. And star of the New York Warriors. <laughs> he was an orphan, you know. But he loved the sport so much that he said baseball was his family. He was the one who had Mitchell assigned to our platoon. Who's the guy on the left? Ah, Victor Sukovsky, the athlete. You've probably heard of his medals. What happened to all of them? Zukovsky died the same day the injured Dunn. Dunn received an honorable discharge and came home. He quit boxing and opened his gym. Mitchell was redeployed to a field hospital. Spano and I continued in the same unit, but nothing was ever the same. You see what I meant with the last day of summer. Man, that looks blurry. And after the war, well, who the hell cares? I do. What happened to Spano? Well, you've seen the billboards. He made it big time. When I was forced to retire, I got him some advertising deals. That's how I founded this agency. But then, something happened to him. He became solid. He fell out of shape and slowly but surely lost touch with reality. He withdrew from public life and broke off our friendship. Haven't heard from him in, uh, what, three years? And believe me, I've tried to contact him. Interesting, okay. What happened to Mitchell after the war? Mitchell? Who knows? We lost touch. I hope he's doing well. Why is the screen so blurry? I think I saw Mitchell not too long ago, but I can't remember where. Seriously? Please try to remember. I'd love to hear from him again. I'll do my best. You think Spano might have been involved in Dunn's death? Spano? No way. He and Dunn were always... Well, Spano's changed so much that it's hard to say. Allow me to double your wage. You have to find the murderer. Maybe Dunn stayed in touch with Mitchell or Spano. Maybe even with both. But he never told me anything. Maybe Sonia knows. I doubt it. But that's not the only question I've got for her. May I? Bring, bring, bring. Mm hmm. The plot thickens. We've got so many new deductions. If <laughs> we just ignore them, it's fine. We're figuring it out on our own. <laughs> yes. Sonia. No, she's not here. Who's calling? Where is she? On the rooftop. Thinking about jumping. You know, it's dangerous. Have you ever wished you'd never been born? What? Mm. Yeah, sometimes. Then we're both in the same boat. First time was right after moving to New York. I hated my mother. She was the reason we moved from the countryside and the smell of freshly mowed grass to this dirty city and the smell of medicine. Her medicine. What's her medicine Second smell like? Catnip? After she died. I hated myself for having hated her before. <laughs> for not having loved her enough. The third time was when my father shut himself off. I hated him for that. For abandoning me. 
or giving in to the booze. Now he's dead, so take a guess. You hate yourself for hating him? You hate yourself for having hated him. Yes, but that's not the worst of it. The problem is I don't know how to live without hating him. Over the last few years, everything I've done was meant to push my father far away. To avoid being like him. To avoid making his same mistakes. Mm. Without him, I just don't know who I am. <laughs> and you won't even let me hate Bobby. Which might actually help me. Why do people you hate wind up dead? Bobby doesn't deserve your hate. The more you hate, the worse you feel. There you go. What's up, Tyler? Hate, How's it going, homie? The worse you feel. You think I don't know that? I need someone to blame. Without that someone, I have only myself to hate. God damn. Hate me. I'll find the person who did this. What if I don't find him? Nah, nah. Reassure. I'll find the person who did this. I promise. Yeah, hey, what's up, keyboard? Let me have my doubts. Although, you've already come so far. I'm sorry I haven't been a little more grateful. In any case, you shouldn't hate yourself. You are... No, you have such good qualities. Kind, smart, and beautiful. There you go. You're kind, smart, and beautiful. Are you really trying to flatter me now? No, I... Seriously, I didn't mean to... Sorry. Anyway, can we just drop the subject? Did you go to my father's apartment? Yes. The thief went there before coming to the gym. Which leads me to believe he didn't find what he was looking for. And what was he looking for? That's what I intend to find out. With your help. Your father yeah, sold what's his up, apartment. The new owners move in in two weeks. What? I'm sorry. I think he used the money to buy a new place with Mary Purnell. The letter you're holding explains the rest. I wish I'd had the chance to talk to her. <laughs> Grinding ventures? Stop it, ghost. Stop it, bro. <laughs> uh, lazy day, just sleeping in? Nothing wrong with that, man. It's the weekend. Enjoy yourself. Have a good time, bro. You know? It's not all the time where you're not, you know, uh, what do you call it? Making honey for the queen? I saw your old room. That's embarrassing. Stop. Or I'll end up hating you. Hmm. I found a baseball glove with Spano's autograph in your room. Oh, I've never seen it. My father must have put it there. Although I don't remember him having a signed glove. Hmm. Did the abacus inspire you to dabble in finances? The most useful gift anybody has ever given me. Interesting. Yeah, what's up, chicken? A gift from your Uncle Tim? He used to say that in this day and age, a woman should know how to count. My father didn't agree, but he didn't oppose it either. People thought he was a liberal because of his attitude towards racial issues. But at home, things were different. Interesting. <laughs> Lion posted another YouTube video while streaming. <laughs> you can't be upset with that, bro. So what is that? Two or three videos that I've posted while streaming. What can I say, man? What can I say? <laughs> oh, man. What, what can I say? You know, that's the cost you got to pay to be a boss. You know? If you got it and you're not using it, why even have it, right? Right? Let me look and see. Am I still rendering up a video? Yep. Still got 22 minutes left on this one. <laughs> choo, choo. 
Feels good. Feels good. It's odd that there are practically no toys or memories of your childhood in the room, except for a small music box. That box? It might just be my last happy memory. It's from before my mother got sick and we moved here. Hmm. I loved reading stories about pirates. So my father drew a treasure map for me. I searched the whole house one clue at a time. It led me to this enormous tree in the yard where Daddy had put up a, a tire sway. X marked the spot, so I, I dug to find my treasure. I loved the music it played, the ballerina, and the little secret compartment. Oh, the secrets I kept in there. I think it's the first time I heard you call your father, Daddy. Uh, really? <laughs> Memories! New clue? Okay, okay. I'm also a fan of Frank Papalia. Oh yeah, the poster. I only liked him because my father thought he was too modern. Interesting. I found a picture taken during the war. <laughs> the Olympic Five. Did you meet any of them besides your father and uncle? Well, Uncle Tim actually isn't my uncle. No? He and my father loved each other like brothers. Did he tell you that he saved his life? Thorpe saved your father? They were flying over Brittany in a three-unit fighter plane. Zukovsky was the pilot, my father was the co-pilot, and my uncle manned the machine gun. Suddenly, enemy fire killed Zukovsky and injured my father, which is why he never boxed again. My uncle jumped out of the gun turret, ran to the cockpit, and managed to pilot the plane to safety. Oh. The times my father told me that story. And now... Mm. You still have your uncle. Yes, I guess you're right. Maybe <laughs> he can also save me. I agree, Tyler. Did you ever meet Mitchell, the doctor? Mitchell? The lizard? No, never. Why? Oh, nothing. I think I've seen him somewhere. The hospital, bro. You saw him at the hospital. He lied to you about the heart condition. Did you ever meet Spano? What can you tell me about him? I think I saw him once, but I was just a little girl. I think my uncle turned him into a star. That was a long time ago. Are you cold? A little. Maybe I should go. Yeah, it's getting late. Anyway. Thanks for the company. Mm -hmm. oh, come on now. I knew I was looking at a solution, but what exactly needed solving? Um, all right, so there you go, Tyler. I hit you with that ad, bro. Um, what do we got? O'Leary's always plays it safe, feet up. During the war, Dunn and his pals were known as the Olympic Five. There's a picture of a tree painted by his wife throwing stones. Here's a cigarette case. Here we go. Let's go music box. Okay. 
Let's go picture. Boom! Let's go. This is bullshit. I'll never understand why detectives and criminals bluster while they fight each other in the pictures. And what a waste of breath, focus, and energy. This is bullshit. 100% bullshit. Slap this bitch! Where's the A button? It's not the lack of credibility hey. in the screen that bothers me. Plus, it's actually pretty handy. Come on! Come when on! Crook talks to you in the middle of a fight. You know you're up against a rookie. Only reason I let him fall is because I died so many times. I probably should have saved him just so I could have questioned his ass. Damn it. Fuck. Should have saved him. Got some more information out of him. Maybe we could check his wallet and shit. That's the same guy who beat my ass in the, uh, the alley earlier. Oh, he's still alive. Good. What did they say? Nothing serious. I lost another one of my nine lives. Oh, this hurts. Got many left? I'm in the red. He hasn't woken up yet? Nope. We're gonna be here a while. Vulpine, seven letters. Devious? Hmm. You think that's the same thing? No, no, no. Sounds a bit off to me. What is it? I don't even know what he asked me. Volpine? I'll be honest. I don't, I don't know what Volpine is. Mm, Anteater snout. Reeks of sardines. Ah. There we go. I didn't see any more alerts. I don't get it. Hmm. I don't get it. Want me to smell his fucking nose again? Ah, there we go. It's like, what are we looking at? Mm. Those kind of look like the boots that were in the paint. Tearing his pants. Ah, he's the one who killed Mary going up the stairs. Wait, I know. Vulpine, seven letters. Cunning. Vulpine? I've never heard of this word. What are you looking for? Nothing. Will he live? He'll live. So what have you found out? Randall Lee. Apparently in love with our penitentiary system, judging by the frequency of his visits. Theft, assault, extortion. You know, minor things of the sort. Any partners? Always works alone. He's never ratted out his employers, provided they exist. Did you find anything? Is this our man? Do you have proof? Let's see, reeks of sardines. And wasn't there sardines at the other joint too? Um Anteater's tearing his pants, piece of fabric. Here we go. Y'all. Yep. Come on. Rack it up. Rack that shit up. Hmm. It looks like we know who tore his pants following Mary Purnell up to the rooftop. His 
pants have a tear in them. I found a piece of that same fabric at the gym, on the stairs that lead to the rooftop where we found the second body. Makes sense, but how many pairs of ripped pants are walking around New York City? <laughs> I don't call that evidence. All right, fucking rack our brain one more time, salty ass dog. Um, wear small shoes. And here we go, burglar sign. Here we go. Boom. Oh, there's another one. Smelly burglar can't find what he's looking for. There we go. Sardines. Double sardines. Double sardines. The guy who broke into the gym in Dunn's place has a thing for sardines. Did you smell his breath? Right. Because there's only one sardine fanatic on this side of the Hudson. I need something more. Damn it. Yo, if anybody's trying to scoop the whoop, it looks like uh, Gergmeister has wave 26 on Canny. If anybody's trying to do the damn uh, cigarette case, playing it safe, document. Hmm. Footprints. Small feet. There it is. There it is. Shoop de whoop. I saw footprints from those very same shoes next to both the gym murders. Unless you're telling me that shoe is a limited edition, I'm gonna need something else. Damn, bro! Really? How is it? Come on now. What do we got? Ant Eater broke into the gym. Okay. Um. Shoes. Let's go here. No. How about this one? Boom, let's get it. One of the thugs that attacked me the other night had a snout just like his. I'm sorry, but you can't incriminate someone based solely on species. What else you got? What more do you need? I've given you four pieces of evidence. None of which are conclusive. He tried to throw me off the rooftop. Yeah, you're right. I'm sorry. He's our man. No, he's not our man. Make up your mind. He's just a puppet. Someone is pulling his strings. Hmm. Could it be Yale? He's innocent, but he's hiding something. I'm still certain he's innocent. No, I'm still certain. He's innocent. By the way, was he discharged? His room is empty. They let him out yesterday. He's in police custody now. You can tell he's an athlete. Made quite the comeback. Anyone else would have taken ten times as long. Anyway, he better be fine. You know they've ordered me to escort him to Madison Square Garden on the day of the fight. Hmm. Yeah, I heard something of the sort. What have you heard? Frank Cassidy. He's friends with the governor. You don't say. I guess I shouldn't be surprised. Mm-hmm. Quick, what do you want? Good cop or bad cop? I'm the bad guy. <laughs> Good thing someone took out the trash. <laughs> Good morning, Mr. Lee. I assume you're aware that you're about to be accused of murder, and that thanks to the witness testimonies of Mr. Blacksad and Miss Dunn, your future is not looking too good. Go to hell, you dog. I swear that if I catch you outside, you'll wish you were in hell. Blacksad, stay out of this. Remember who's the cop here. 
Maybe we can offer you a deal. We know someone hired you to kill Joe Dunn and Mary Purnell. What do you have to say? I'll go your bluff. You ain't got nothing. Your friend the Hellhorse doesn't seem to feel that way. Although I'm afraid he won't be talking anymore. Shut up, or I'll kick you out. If you tell us who hired you, we'll help you. What can you offer me? <laughs> How much is your life worth to you? Don't pay attention to him, Mr. Lee. We don't do <laughs> but we can significantly reduce your sentence. <laughs> It's a start, but it's not good enough. <laughs> I want in on the witness protection program. New city, new job, new identity. And a clean police record. That's the only way I'll talk. Meanwhile, I want police protection 24-7. I'm afraid that... Whoa. Oh, shit! Watch out! Fuck! I always have the fucking remote nowhere near like my hands. Fuck! I see. I, I was alive. I, I stayed alive. I'm afraid that. Whoa! Watch out! Hello. It's crazy they make you hold the remote the whole time, especially Luckily, during Smirnoff's these cutscenes. Wasn't as bad as Randall's. Unfortunately, the police found nothing on the nearby rooftops. Our best shot at finding the killer was gone. So I went back to my previous lead. Well, I mean to tell you, they love cigarettes in this game. What happened to all the blood on the wall? A second ago, he had his fucking brains, like splattered everywhere on the final scene there was nothing just just an ant that was laying over it's from before my mother got sick and we moved here i loved reading stories about pirates so my father drew a treasure map for me i searched the whole house one clue at a time it led me to this enormous tree in the yard where Daddy had put up a, a tire swing. Is it like gonna let me leave the scene or are we just stuck here? Oh, okay. Holy shit. Whoa, whoa. Ah, Jesus Christ. Uh-oh. 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 Hello, hello, hello. And the plot thickens. I really shouldn't take my hands off the controller. Adler, 585. Hello, Smirnoff residents. You're Next dead. Character. No, I got you with my lasso. Can you quiet down, kids? Dunn got killed for stirring the hornet's nest. And you confessed your crime. Kids, please. So shut the fuck up. Athletes for months, including Helen Moore and Al Stone, among others. And Dunn's notes aren't all that clear, and I'm not sure what he was after. But I'd say we're facing a widespread corruption case. Well, if you're right, that could be some dangerous evidence. Bring it here ASAP. Sure, but there's something important that I need to finish first. 
He's gonna go feel on that booty of that girl. Hey, but what's up, sweet thing? She's like, Rrr. He's like, yeah, let me scratch behind your ears. I wanted to follow a certain lead on my own before Smirnov had the chance to see anything. They just love them cigarettes, bro. I swear to God, they look like they're loving it. According to his notebook, Dunn had seen Craig Spano at Sam's Diner just four days before his death. Get out of here, pussy! Beat it or what? Well, I can't make up my fucking mind. Either call the cops or beat your ass. Which would you prefer? It might have been easier to slap the information out of him, but I decided to trust in a universal truth. Everyone is guilty of something. You don't know who I am, right? Don't know and don't care. Come on, spit it out. I'm John H. Blackmore, public health inspector. Oh, yeah, right. <laughs> there are some real freaks around here, so I have to be firm, you know? Have you eaten? Dinner's on the house. <laughs> After you answer my questions. Sure, go ahead. Your call. Always at your disposal, Inspector. Uh -huh. Ask away. Fear turned him soft and made him talk. Sure enough, Don had been there a few days back with a chimpanzee who matched Spano's description. Apparently, the guy still lived with his father. Dunn said he couldn't stay there a day more. For the time being, he would move into his place. Wait a minute! What does public health services have to do with that chip? The chimp died of food poisoning. But wait, he, he didn't even eat. Which is even worse. <laughs> what the fuck? <laughs> Plot twist. Plot twist. <laughs> That's funny. Uh.